You've probably seen a lot of women do this weird writhing dance in your life, but it's not because they need to pee. It's because they have a yeast infection. Among doctors, a yeast infection is called vaginal candidiasis, but my friends and I like to call it a yeasty beastie. And that's because it can feel like there's a monster living in your nether region. It's also kind of weird to talk about yeast as it relates to a vagina, because last time we checked, there is no delicious bread to be found on there. But the reality is that most healthy hoo-haws have a certain amount of yeast floating around all the time, as well as bacteria like lactobacillus that actively tries to balance out your yeast levels. It's only when this yeast balance gets out of whack and starts growing too much that the beast emerges. Sure, a yeasty beastie doesn't have sharp teeth or a scary face, but it will haunt your vagina in a variety of ways, like redness and swelling of the vulva, vaginal rash, thick white odor-free vaginal discharge, and my personal favorite, burning sensations when you are peeing or having sex. <sighs> also, if it's left untreated, the vaginal itching will intensify, and in extreme cases, you could be left with really bad sores on your vagina or vulva. Everyday things can lead to this unbalance, like normal changes in hormone levels when you're ovulating, a weakened immune system when you have a cold, or taking a birth control pill that has estrogen in it. However, it can also be caused by pregnancy, diabetes, or the use of antibiotics. Oh, and P.S., men can also get yeast infections on their penis and scrotum. While it's not considered a sexually transmitted disease, it can sometimes be passed to a dude after bumping uglies with a lady who has a yeasty beastie. Male yeast infections aren't nearly as common as female ones, but it's still another reason why you shouldn't have unprotected sex when you're not in a committed relationship. That goes for you too, ladies, because even having sexual contact with a guy whose body chemistry does not vibe with yours can lead to a bad reaction and cause yeast production to run rampant downstairs. So, you might want to grab a bottle of water right now, because you can also get a yeast infection in your mouth. It's called thrush, and somehow it sounds more gross than an infection in your vagina. It can occur on your cheeks, throat, or tongue, and symptoms include cracking at the corner of the mouth, lesions on your cheek that may bleed when rubbed, or raised lesions on your tongue with a cottage cheese-like appearance. Oh my god. Okay, enough about thrush. Back to vaginal yeasty beasties. Lucky for us, you can usually rid yourself of these monsters with over-the-counter antifungal medicine in just a few days. While you're treating it, best to avoid putting anything in or around your vagina, like a penis or sex toy, because friction can make it harder to heal. Plus, some of these medicines have oil in them, which can damage the latex and lead to a broken condom. That's why you only use water-based lube with condoms. Also a good idea to take off those tight-fitting pantyhose Get out of that wet bathing suit ASAP and stay out of that super hot bath with perfume, soaps, or oils, since these will only please the UCBC and invite it to stick around longer. The biggest thing to avoid is scratching with your hands. Even though yeast infections can be insanely itchy, scratching can make irritation worse, and you could get some of those nasty germs on your hands and spread them around, leading to more infections. So the next time you see a lady or maybe a man doing a strange, painful jig, know that you're next. Just kidding. But the chance of you getting a yeast infection will always be there, so just let them dance without judgment. <laughs>